Hi everyone, I'm Stefano from Soto Zen Channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create and easily animate this Pac-Man scene. This is intended to be a very basic and step-by-step -step tutorial. So let's get started. I press Ctrl and N and I create a new general Blender file. We can select the camera and the lamp and press X to delete them. Instead we can keep the default cube and we want to have a sphere. And the easy way to do this is press Ctrl and then maybe free to add a subdivision surface modifier. Let's apply this modifier here in order that the topology of our object has been uh, changed to the new resolution. Pressing 3 on the numpad I go to the right orthographic view and I can see that it looks like a sphere but it's not a perfect one. In order to get a perfect sphere let's use this cast modifier and let's set this value to 1. And once again we can apply this now because we don't need and right click we want to shade it smooth and under this normals option let's check the auto smooth we can also uh, assign a simple yellow material and in order to see it press z and switch from solid to material preview f2 we can also properly name this to into uh, Pac-Man body. Now we need a second cube, so Shift A, Mesh Cube, and this time we don't want this to be visible in render, so let's uncheck this uh, render option under visibility and in viewport visibility we want to switch from texture to wireframe. I press Tab to enter edit mode, press R and 45 to rotate my cube and then I want to move on the Y axis until this corner here is uh, aligned with the center of the Pac-Man body. Let's now select these two vertices and pressing J I can create a edge to connect them and I do the same operation on the other side. I press now Ctrl and 3 to go in face selection mode and I shift select all these four faces and press X. I want to delete them. Lastly, pressing Ctrl and 2, I go to the edge selection mode and pressing Alt click, I can select this edge loop and F to fill and create a new face to get this uh, to fill this gap. So now I go back to the side orthographic view and as you guessed this will be the shape that we will use to um, create the, the mouth of Pac-Man. Let's move this face more near here and let's go back to our object mode. We can name also this so F2 and Pac-Man mouth. So now we are ready to make our first boolean operation. So with this uh, mouth object selected, I shift select uh, the sphere and then simply press Ctrl and minus to subtract this object from this one. If this doesn't work for you, it's probably because under edit preference, you have to search for the bool tool plugin and be sure that is enabled on your blender. Once we have done this, we want to uh, set back this visualization from bounds that uh, the bool tools brings all these, all its operators to the bounds display mode and we want instead to go back to its uh, actual shape in wireframe mode. So now we want to have a way to animate the mouth of this Pac-Man and to do this we can use the shape animation in Blender. Shape animation is 
essentially a way to interpolate between two different topology of the same object. So let's press this plus button here and create a first shape key for this uh, object. And then we need a second one. Press tab once again to enter edit mode. And we can S, Z and scale down this face until we have uh, our Pac-Man with its mouth completely uh, closed. As soon as I go back to object mode, it jump back to its original shape. But now we have uh, this value slider here that allow us to animate this value. And we also can name this shape key into open mouth. Sorry, this is closed mouth and the first one is open mouth okay so now we want also to create the inside of the pacman body and we can do this um, simply shift a creating a new cube adding again some subdivision surface modifier and scale it inside with the s key and with this one selected i shift select my pacman body and i press ctrl and minus and now we have this that we can open and close so the downside of this way is that we are using uh, boolean operators for animation and they are quite uh, heavy in terms of com calculation for Blender. So uh, what we can do is to select our Pac-Man and here we have these two Boolean tools. We can get rid of the second one that is the one for the uh, inner cube. So we can simply apply this one. Uh, we can also delete this. Let's now create a very simple hierarchy for our animation and I want to shift a create an empty a sphere that we can maybe make a little bit larger something like this we want to name this control Pac-Man, and let's select the mouth the body and the empty object press ctrl p and set parent to object. So now we have this controller that allow us to move or rotate our Pac-Man. So we can try to make a very simple and easy animation to test our Pac-Man. I made a new window and switched to graph editor. Then shift A we can create some simple UV sphere, scale them something like this. Control A to apply the scale. And maybe we want to put them here. Also, we can shade smooth them. So, Shift D, Y, and then Shift D again with both selected g and y to finally have four pellets for our pacman to eat i press n to bring this uh, transfer panel here and then i select my control object and i want to um uh, before that let's actually animate its mouth so um, we have to go back here under the shape keys animation and we want to um, maybe we want to start with uh, close mouth and clicking this little dot here we can direct insert a keyframe for this value and one two three four frames ahead let's insert zero this means that 
um, it goes back to the open mouth shape and again another shape key and one two three four let's frame our function curve here and we can select this keyframe here and then ctrl c and ctrl v to paste this keyframe so we have our animation and because of uh, the purpose of this simple animation we can select this under channel and simply make it a cycle now let's select this control object and press i to insert a location keyframe and we know that one two three four one two three four it close again its mouth and i want to move it to the center of the first pellet and then i can insert with the i key another location keyframe and this time i press t and i change the interpolation from bezier to linear and we can get a read of the z and x values we only need the y animation and in under channel extrapolation we can this time choose linear extrapolation this means that essentially it will go on forever one last detail we want that this pellet disappear after they are they uh, has been um, they got eaten <laughs> from pacman hey guys i apologize for my very basic english you know me i i try my best okay so um at this keyframe i press i and i insert a keyframe for the scale value of the pellet and the frame after i go here and i insert zero and again another keyframe so the same i will do in this moment i scale one frame forward zero i scale and then for the third one i scale one frame forward zero go scale and the last one i scale one frame forward insert zero value for scale and one keyframe and if we now play our animation we can see our pac-man opening and closing its mouth so what we learn in this tutorial beside the fact that i will never be able to make more complex tutorial because of my english but i hope somehow you learned something useful for you and if so please leave me a like or a comment if you have any question i will be more than happy to try my best to answer them so let's have a great day and a great new year i think we all need a good one thanks again for watching and see you soon ciao